summer of 69. Hey guys, how are you doing? It is 5 p.m. and it's still light out, which is always nice. As we get closer and closer to June 20th, the longest day of the year is the June 21st. I always forget. Anyway, today is February 1st. I made it through a whole month of carnivore, so 31 days of only eating meat, eggs, etc., etc., uh, fish. This morning stood in the scale and I was 199.1, so I was basically one tenth of a pound away from my 15 pound. I, I, again, I didn't have really a goal. I don't recall having a goal. I was hoping I'd lose at least 15 to 20 pounds. And uh, so I'm as close as that. So I was very happy about that. Uh, last night, after the live show I did, uh, I had like a big bowl of uh, leftover rotisserie chicken that Carol bought a couple of days ago or a day ago. And uh, so I ate the rest of that. And that was it, that's all I ate. Uh, prior to that was the uh, four eggs, ham, and, uh, a, and a leftover beef patty, probably like a four and a half ounce beef patty. I don't know how many calories all that was, but. So look, seems like the last week of January I kind of plateaued. Some people are saying maybe you didn't eat enough. Um, there were days that I, d I definitely ate more than my fair share of food starting with last Sunday. Um, or I guess well, that would be what, four days ago when I ate all that meat at the uh, Brazilian steakhouse. So I ate a lot there and uh, I thought I ate enough throughout the week, but I was kind of plateaued obviously in the 199 range of weight. So right now, uh, or today, woke up, made my coffee, got my water set, electrolytes. I always drink one big glass of electrolytes and water, and then after that I'll have a, a regular water, and then I'll have electrolytes and back and forth, and uh, throughout the whole day. Carl got here at around 9.30. We finished show nine for his television show, editing, all done made his YouTube stuff and so he'll pick that up tomorrow. We're gonna do show 10 uh, tomorrow, but right now, uh, like I said, it's five o'clock to Thursday night, Thursday late afternoon, and I'm going down to Paul's house to do a big walk with him and Ace. And uh, I've decided to kind of push it to the next level and do a 72 hour fast i haven't done one since last year around this time maybe a little bit later in the year or maybe i did it two years ago i think i did it yeah i can't remember what when i did my last 72 hour fast so because i plateaued for the last week basically uh, i think i need to do a 72 hour fast try to drive my weight down a little bit more use those 72 hours of fasting to uh, hopefully repair things that are going on in my body that I don't, I'm, a, I'm unaware of. Hopefully fix uh, any inflammation that I have and any other damaged cells throughout my body that my body needs to fix and not while I'm not eating. The only thing I'm going to drink today and tomorrow will be bone broth. Carol made, when I, ha when I made that big roast, uh, or big that big prime rib, I had two large bones in there. And so Carol boiled them for many, many hours. And so I've got this nice beef stock or beef broth at home waiting for me. So I'm gonna drink that when I get home after I walk with Paul. And uh, yeah, another thing you can wish me luck on, wish me well. Uh, it, it is, for people that eat all the time, the thought of not eating for more than 24 hours is spooky. And I remember back in the day when I would just go for, when I just ate normal, had a normal North American diet, and I would, you know, my your doctor would say, oh, you got a blood test tomorrow, you need to uh, fast for 12 hours. You're like, what? 
not eat breakfast? What? And uh, it was scary not eating food. And then as soon as I started doing the intermittent fasting, then started doing 24 hour fast, 48 hour fast, I've done only one 72 hour fast in my life today or this next little bit uh, will be my second 72 hour fast. And I've already almost done 24 hours because I haven't eaten anything since seven o'clock last night and it's five o'clock the next day. So I'm up to uh, 22 hours of not eating. And uh, if I can make it through, which I will uh, make it through tonight, just with the bone broth and more water, then uh, you go to bed and you sleep for eight hours through your fast, another fast, part of your fast. And uh, next thing you know, it'll be tomorrow. And hopefully sometime tomorrow, I'll get past the hormone hunger pains, the grunt ghrelin. And uh, once you get past that ghrelin, it subsides. Hunger it does not continue exponentially until you die uh, your body goes through these hormone changes and once the ghrelin's gone then uh, you're back to normal and it's just weird it's the first time it happens to you you're like I cannot believe I am not starving and it's been three days since I've eaten last it's weird I recommend it to anybody out there who after with doctor supervision of course uh, I've been doing this for the intermittent fasting for f four years now and uh, so I, I feel like I know what I'm doing with my body this is my opinion and, and uh, don't follow my example do your own research and talk to your doctor and have a nutritionist and, and uh, possibly a coach let's do this walk with Paul and get home and I will have my beef broth and that will be the only thing I eat today Back home from my walk with Paul and Ace. Ace is Paul's French bulldog. And uh, yeah, I think we walked about 3.66 kilometers. Uh, we walked right through Newmarket and, and around. And uh, it, was just a, it was a great walk. Paul and I always have the best talks on these walks. So uh, I, like I said, I'm doing a 72 hour fast. Uh, we are now well, that'd be 24, 25, 26 hours into the first part of our fast. Now I'm going to be doing a broth, uh, bone broth. So uh, this, we boiled the bones from my last prime rib. So right now, all I'm smelling is prime rib. Mm. So a lot of people that do the 72 hour fast, I think the first day, maybe two, they do bone broth, water, electrolytes, and on the last day, just water and electrolytes or just water. Uh, but that's what people are doing. And again, hopefully I go into a good apothegy and, and uh, start to heal stuff in my body, start to eat up some of that fat in the skin, just stuff like that. Let's see if I can... See if this is too hot, we'll see. 
it was boiling so cheers oh perfect temperature oh and i put the right amount of salt and pepper in that oh my gosh that is um, i'm drinking liquid prime rib right now it's like eating prime rib but in liquid form mm, that is phenomenal all right guys uh, i'm going to go and sit with carol uh, it is quarter after nine at night on thursday i got carl coming in tomorrow morning and uh, we'll be working all day on show 10. i totally finished and wrapped up show nine did all the color correcting did all the audio corrections and tweaking throughout the whole thing and made sure everything was in line perfectly exported it uh, so I can send it out to the network, which I'll do tomorrow. It takes a while. So uh, anyway, thanks guys for all your support on this channel and my other channel. And I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do for the big channel. I, Cause I need to do the 72 hour fast. What am I supposed to do? I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, cheer guys. Talk to you later. Thanks for the support.